everyone. Welcome to the Tokyo American Club Home Fitness Series. My name is Robert. I'm a personal trainer here at the American Club. Also a group fitness instructor teaching mainly TRX, suspension training, and also Muay Thai, Thai boxing for private sessions and small groups as well. So today I'd like to introduce Muay Thai, which translates to Thai boxing. Thai boxing is different than Western boxing in the sense that we use um, more than just the fists, more than just the hands. It's called the art of eight limbs, meaning the two fists, also the two elbows, the knees, and the feet or the shins for different uh, attacks and defensive tactics. Um, today I'd like to introduce also a small meditation just to prep ourselves for the upcoming workout and also considering the situation right now, it's good to have a good balance of calming yourself, and then we're going to take it up uh, a beat faster for a workout just to energize your body, and then at the end, we'll have a bit of time to do a little cool down and a stretch. So without further ado, we're going to start. Um, for the meditation, we're going to introduce it in different levels, same with the technical aspect. So not everybody has the same abilities, therefore I'll take it from a beginner level, intermediate, and hopefully uh, advanced for the people who are already practicing these uh, disciplines. Okay, so. Um, let's begin with the seated meditation. Often we think a meditation has to be done on the floor, um, crossing your legs in a very difficult position. That is one of the choices, but not everybody could set up in that position. Therefore, we'll start on the chair, and then I'll show you a bit later how to do it on the floor. Okay? So just any chair is fine. One key point is you'll be seated in the front of the chair, not resting your back. You want to be comfortably seated with your spine erect. Chin is down. Head is straight, neck is straight, and the hands could be either rested on your thighs or crossed in front of you, but just in a relaxed position that you don't feel any tension in your neck, in your shoulders, or your lower back. Meaning you're not over tensing yourself to stay nice and straight, but yet not too relaxed that you're going to either bend forward or if you go to a deep state of meditation, fall off the chair. Um, so, let's begin. Just keep your feet shoulder width apart is fine. Uh, in this case, I'll place my hands on my knees, and then all you're going to do is really straighten up. Imagine you have a line that's pulling you to the ceiling, and you want to feel just that straight line from the top of your head, through your back, all the way to your uh, sacrum, the seated and sitting bones. Okay. And before we start the actual meditation, I'll just take it to the side view so you can see my back position and the distance related to the rest, the backrest. So from the side view, I'm seated in the front of the chair, like so. I'll have my hands in front of me. My back is straight. You want to tuck your chin in a bit and just kind of, it's an active passive, like I explained earlier. I'm not super stiff and creating a lot of tension in my back. I just want to be in a natural, straight position and keeping this as long as possible. Um, we're going to start just roughly a minute just to introduce it to you. And then after, we'll do the seated version as well, which will just be a minute. Okay. So from here, you have the choice of closing your eyes. Again, you're going to close your eyes, but not forcing, not putting any tension in your face. Just close your eyes. And let's take three deep breaths first. In for one. And two. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. So from here, just keeping this position There's different objects of meditation which we can use. The most common is following the breath, the breathing cycles, natural breathing. So just get some awareness of how you're breathing. You're not controlling your breathing. Just let the body do its own thing and try to get a third person perspective on your breathing for now.
it's normal, some thoughts will cross your mind and you might get hooked onto those thoughts if it's thinking of things of the past or thinking of the future. If you're able to notice them, acknowledge them and let them go, just return to the cycles of your breath. Again, without any tension, not trying to force this or that. Just be aware and observe what's going on for now. Okay, that's just for the introduction for now. Um, this type of meditation can be done uh, for any duration, as you feel comfortable, and the time you have available. Um, you want to do it in a way that you're not, again, straining yourself, making it uncomfortable, not feeling any benefits from it. And then with time, like any activity, you keep practicing, keep practicing, you'll start noticing more and more benefits, and you'll be more encouraged to, to continue it. From now, I'd like to show you the seated position on the floor, so a little bit different. If you have a mat, if you're on a hard floor, you could use a mat. If not, if you're on a carpet, or if you have mats at home, that's fine as well. Okay. Um, before we start the actual meditation, we're gonna do a little warm up in this position. <coughs> it's uh, four little exercises that we'll do, and then we'll take it to the meditation like we just did, okay? First one is gonna be placing your hands, make, make some fists, you're going to place the hands on your side. All you're going to do is you're going to raise yourself up from this cross-legged position. Raise your body up and hold. One, two, three, four, and five. And take it down. And again, up. One. Let your spine relax now. Try to feel the weight of your hips and your legs. Lengthen your spine. Four, five, and take it down. Good. One more time. Up. Push. Arms are straight. One, two, three, four, and five, and take it down. Good. That was up and down. The next one is going to be sideways. So you're going to place your hands on your hips. We're going to go right to left three times each, combined with good breathing. So here you inhale. We'll take it to the right side. Make an S with your spine, with your back. Exhale. Come back to center. Inhale. And side. Good. Again, one. In. To the side. Breathe out. Come to center. Inhale and side. That's two. One more. Inhale up and take it to the side. Again, inhale and take it to the side. Okay, so up and down, side to side. Next, Now we're going to go forward and back. Here you might want to have your hands a bit more in front of you just because while you're moving forward you don't want to tilt too far forward and fall forward and same thing for moving back. Um, so same thing, we're going to inhale first, inhale, extend your chest, open the chest, extend your spine, exhale, breathe in, and then bend back, in, to the front, and two, one more, inhale, exhale to the front, inhale, exhale to the back. So we have three angles so far, up and down, side to side, front and back. We're going to take it to a rotation now. Same thing, you're going to inhale first. You're going to bring your opposite hand to the opposite leg and breathe out as you twist. You have your other hand behind you to anchor and breathe out. One. Come back to center, inhale, reach, anchor, twist and exhale. Two. Center again, inhale. Cross, reach, breathe out. Center again, one. Cross, breathe out. Good, last one, third one, inhale. Cross, anchor, exhale. One more on the other side. Deep inhale, reach, hold your body in place, exhale, twist. 
Okay, very good. From here, we'll take it to another meditation. Um, for the leg position, there's different positions you, you can choose from. Anywhere from the classic cross leg position to this other position, depending on the flexibility of your hips, you could take it to, this is called the Burmese, which both legs are lying flat. The idea here is same as before. You want to have your body nice and straight and use the floor as a support. So if, if you're flexible enough and your legs are able to touch the floor, that will give you a good base. You're making like a triangle. The two end of the, the thighs, so the knees, close to the knee area, your sitting bones, and then your spine on, and the top of your head uh, up above. Okay. So this is number two. Number three would be the half lotus, which is one leg coming over the other. Is also very comfortable if you're able to hold it and not uh, get excessive tension in the hips or back. Again, it takes time. You can practice it. And the third one would be the full lotus, which everybody has the image of meditation and yoga practice. You cross one leg and then you cross the other like so. So if you're stable and you're able to keep this for a certain duration, you're welcome to do so. But there's no difference really in your body position. The key is how you're being aware of your uh, object of meditation, seeing the thoughts arise and see them pass away. Okay? So let's start with my, my preferred position is here, the Burmese, just because I get to get the legs on the floor. Um, but again, you can choose anywhere from seated like we did earlier to regular cross leg position, both legs out, one leg on top of the other, or full lotus, okay? So you could play around with that. Let's start with the, um, the technique now for here. We're gonna do the same as before. Um, again, feeling what your body's doing against the floor, use gravity in your advantage. I'm not letting gravity take over and sink, but again, I'm not over tensing and going too high that I'm feeling tension in my lower back or my shoulders or my neck is tensing up, okay? Uh, the hand position, Again, either in front, or you could have them crossed cupping, one in front of the other, one on top of the other, just in front of you, as your choice, okay? So, let's begin. Once you're in position, you can close your eyes, just lightly close your eyes. Here again, we'll take three deep breaths, big inhale, and exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. One more time. And exhale. From here, try to be aware of what your body's doing. If there's any tension. So you can scan starting from your top of your head to your face. Are the eyes tensing up to close? The area between your eyes, or is it tense? Relaxing your jaw, but your mouth is closed. And then taking it down to the neck. Is there any tension in your neck? So once you become aware of a spot that's tight, ideally it will release. There's other methods to release it physically. But in this case, you just want to let it go, and with time and practice, it will be easier and easier and faster to achieve that relaxation. Next to the shoulders. Your upper back between the shoulder blades, taking it down to the rib area, thoracic area. Lower back where we have a lot of tension, usually. and then to your hips. So during the meditation, when you feel, you could always take a little pause in your concentration to go over the body and see if there's any tight spots that you give it a bit of focus. And you can even take some three, three to five uh, controlled breaths to release that tension. So after the lower back, your hips, along the thighs, a 
the knees next. Along the calves, the lower leg. Then the ankles. Your feet, the soles of the feet all the way to your toes. Now we'll just continue with a minute, silent. So similar to before, just be aware of your natural cycles of breathing. And if any thoughts cross your mind, just acknowledge them, but let them go. If you catch yourself being a, following a thought, that's great. Don't get too concerned about it. Just let it go and return to your object of concentration, which we chose the cycles of breathing for now. If you need to scan your body, you feel you've come out of position in any way, just slowly reset your position as naturally as possible without forcing. With time, you'll be able to notice once you're aware of this process of breathing, and thoughts arising, thoughts passing away. In time, you'll be able to feel more relaxed. And to achieve that state of relaxation, it will be faster, easier as you go along. OK. Let's open our eyes. Great, we'll just bow. Okay, so that was kind of the introduction just to some basic meditation to help you um, relax and just help you achieve some concentration. Uh, there's many, many benefits. Today we won't take it too much in detail. The main focus is the Thai boxing, which I'm gonna introduce next. And we're gonna start with a nice little warm up. We're gonna start on the floor. Since we're on the floor, I'd have you extend your, we'll move the mat away. <coughs> I'm going to have you extend your legs just in front of you like this. We're going to start just by moving the legs up and down. Just loosen up the knees. If you start in the seated position that we did earlier, maybe some tension in the legs or in the hips. A few more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, next we're going to take a foot, bring it over the knee. I'd like you to hold your ankle and then hold your foot. We're going to just start by loosening up the ankles. So big circles. One, two, three, four, five, and switch. One, two, three, four and five. Okay, next you're gonna pull on the foot, hold, one, two, three, four, and five. And the other way, one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm just giving you five counts, but you can go 10 or 15 counts, just because I'd like to cover quite a few things, so we'll go a bit brief on the, on the counts for each exercise. Next one, switch legs, grab your ankle, grab the foot, grab your toes, circles, one, two, three, four, and five. Good, other way, one, two, three, four, and five. Good, extend. <coughs> Pull your foot, one, two, three, four, five. And the other way, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, good, shake it off. Good, I'll just face the front for the next one. Next one, a lot of us have very tight hips, so if you're spending a lot of time um, seated, uh, it's, it's not ideal for the body. Our hips are going to be flexed and you're going to develop a lot of tension in the hips, therefore it will radiate up to your lower back and or your knees. 
So to help that, we're going to do some floor exercises that will loosen up the hips and in turn stretch your, stretch your back and release a bit of tension in the knees if, if you have issues with that. So I'm going to introduce the 90-90 stretch, which is a very interesting one. It co it's composed of a few elements. The first thing is you're going to bring one leg in front of you, bring it, your hips and your shin should be parallel. That's your first 90 degrees. The second is the back leg. You're going to continue from the hip line to the other knee and then bring the leg out that you have a 90 degree angle at the back leg knee as well. The first objective is going to be just to move your hip on the back side in this case. I'm going to roll back so my back's rounding and then I'm going to extend forward and we'll do this with the breathing. Your objective is also to bring your body straight. If you're on an angle, you might start here. That's totally fine. With time, by loosening it up, you'll end up a bit more vertical and even without support. So let's just do it five times. One, breathe out here, inhale, breathe out, two, three, four, one more, five, Okay, next one, we're going to take it to the front leg. This is going to target the glute muscles, <coughs> very important muscles to help stabilize the leg when you're doing sport or even walking, daily activity, key muscle. Once the leg's in position, all you're going to do is you're going to force, you're going to force your leg into the floor, not by pushing it, by just the, the, the strength of your own leg. From here, you're creating a bit of tension. Next, you're going to stick your chest out. You're going to lean in front of, lean forward with the middle of your body in line with the middle of your shin and just hold. You're pressing into the floor with the, f with the strength of your leg, and I'm leaning out. I'm not rounded, I'm not going down, I'm going out and high, and just hold. You should feel it on the, l on the front side here. Two, three, four, five, good. Next, you come back to center. We're gonna turn to the knee, in line with the knee. So you turn your body, the center of your body, in line with your knee. First you engage the leg, press into the floor. Once you feel that tension build up, you extend your chest, out, inhale, Breathe, hold, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, come back, we're gonna switch legs. Again, this is very short, we're just doing five second count. You wanna go 15, 20, even more, depending. And if you switch on one side, you come back to the other, that's excellent. So, back to this. You are going to line up your shin with your hips. This position might be difficult, this is the objective. So you start where you are, and then build up to this. This is kind of the, the end result. Shin is parallel to your hips. 90 degree on the front leg, back leg as well. Back thigh is in line with the hips. Open the leg a bit that you get 90 degrees on the back. So first we're gonna do the back leg hip in a rotation. You're gonna sit back and then go out forward. One, take it back and two. Take it back and three. Again, four. Last one, and five. Okay, to the front leg. Same as before, we're gonna squeeze the floor with the, just the strength of our leg. Chest is out, we go middle of the body to the middle of the shin. Have your hands as support if needed and take it forward. Hold, one, two, three, four, and five. Good, return to center. We're gonna turn to the knee angle, twist your body, middle of the chest in line with your knee. Sque squeeze against the floor, thigh against the floor. Once that tension builds up, chest out, take it forward and hold, deep breathing. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, good. And come back. Just go both legs out, <coughs> shake it off a bit. Next one, we're gonna continue a bit with the hips and then we'll take it right away to standing. Um, next one, you're gonna have your hands behind you as a support. Bring your feet parallel, a bit wider than shoulder width. From here, you're going to bring the knee in line with your heel of the other foot. So you might have to go a bit wider. Take it down and exhale. One, and out, two, inhale, exhale, three, and out, four, one more, five. Oh, we're gonna go, let's go 10 on this. Six, seven, five each side, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, very good. Let's come up standing. So what are the benefits of Muay Thai? 
There are quite a few. Um, in general, Thai boxing, we cover all aspects of fitness. So anywhere from flexibility, of course, you'll see soon. Flexibility. Then we have the strength aspect, because there's a lot of conditioning exercises which are necessary. And then the endurance aspect. So once you get a base of technique, you're able to increase the uh, number of reps, number of, of uh, techniques within themselves or in a combination, and then the speed. And then there's, you can combine those elements to give you a really good uh, workout. So let's start standing. We're going to do a few more deep breathing exercises with a stretch. And then we'll have to go one more time on the floor just to get a good hamstring stretch because there's some kicks that are going to come on uh, later on. Okay. So first one, we're just going to step forward. Um, as you step forward, you're going to inhale. You're going to inhale, open the body. Inhale, step back, breathe out. Let's change legs. Inhale, open, and breathe out. Again, three, breathe out. Four, breathe out. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, open, and ten. Okay, that one was out to the side. Next one, we'll take it overhead <coughs> to get a bit deeper stretch in the shoulders. Same idea, you're going to inhale, arms go up, you exhale as you return. So inhale, reach, bring the hips forward, and take it back. Two, and take it back. Three, take it back. Four, take it back. Five. I'll show you from the side view. Inhale up and back. Seven and back. Eight. Reach, reach, reach. Relax. Nine. Arch and reach. Hips forward. Ten. Okay, very good. Um, let's go to a bit of a dynamic warm up now. Um, for the legs and the arms at the same time. So just the classic exercise, everybody knows the jumping jacks. We're going to do 10 counts on the jumping jacks, then we're going to hold it into a deep squat, and we'll repeat that three times. So just have your feet together, your arms are here on your side. As you open the legs, the hands come up, and then you return, okay? After that, the, the sumo squat, you're going to hold the feet out wide on an angle, 45 degrees. You're going to go as low as you can while keeping your body straight. We're going to hold for 10 seconds, like that. We're going to come back standing and repeat three times. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's go for 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hold and just stay put. Catch your breath. Focus on the legs now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's repeat. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Take it down. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Last one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And return to standing. Good. Just shake it off. Catch your breath. So, of course, some of you are at home. <coughs> you might have limited space. So these exercises today are designed really to um, give you a workout, but that you don't have that, that much space or if you don't have someone to work with. So they're going to be focused on doing the workout on your own for now. And later, if we have time, we'll, um, in, in a future video, maybe pair up with somebody and show what you can do with your family members or friends at home. That's going to be very, um, not only effective for the workout, but very interesting as well. Okay, next one, we're going to go forward. The arm motion is going to be the same. We're going to start one leg forward like this. As I change legs, the arms are going to go overhead, similar to what we just did. So I'll, I'll just demonstrate slowly. As I go, I, s I bring the arms up, I switch on one side, I come back. I go up, I come back. When I'm done the 10, I'm going to hold the lunge position, which is nice and low, like this, for 10 seconds. Okay, so this time we'll just do two sets, or you can do four. It has to be paired because you're starting with one leg forward, and then I'll end with one leg forward, and then I'll do the other side. Okay, so if I start with the left forward, <coughs> my hands are here. As I jump, my right leg is going to go forward. Ready? We'll do ten and go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hold. Nice and low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hold. This is the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And come up. Good. Shake it off. I'll show you that from the side view so you get to see the good leg position on this one. Okay. So we were here. The first one was the left leg forward. <coughs> The left leg forward. As I'm here, as I jump, I'm going to bring my hands overhead. The right leg comes forward at the same time. One and two, like so. Okay, we're going to go ten. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And hold. So the lunge, you want 90 degrees at the ankle, at the knee, at the hip. The back leg is bent. You're on the toes. Hold straight. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Come up. Okay. Shake it off. We're going to go on the right side now. <coughs> right leg's forward. As I go up, the left leg comes forward. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hold. Deep lunge. Back knee close to the floor. Body straight. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Stand up. Good. And shake it off. <coughs> okay. So the legs are warmed up. The heart rate's up. We're going to continue. Keep this pace. Um, we've still got a few more preparatory, preparatory exercises, and then we'll take it to the techniques. So who can benefit from, from the Thai boxing workouts? Well, anybody who's looking to, of course, get toned, since you're moving your body in a quite dynamic fashion, um, the muscles are working without any load. You're not using any weight. There's not so much impact on the joints, unless you're jumping, so be aware of that. Um, the cardiovascular system is working. I'm breathing a bit hard now, just from th that demonstration, and talking at the same time. Um, <coughs> the flexibility aspects, wh which we're going to touch on now. We're going to do a, an extensive stretching for the legs. So all those aspects, people who want to get more flexible, people who want to get a bit stronger, just with body weight exercises, like we did, and also the endurance aspect, when you're doing the combinations in a faster fashion or higher higher number of them, okay? So since we're standing, let's continue standing. We're just going to stretch out the thighs that we just did. I'd like you to pull your foot <coughs> behind you. You're going to hold nice and straight, torso straight. Balance on the other leg. The other leg is working as well. The glutes engage, the thighs working. I'm straight. I hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, pull it to your chest. Both hands. <clears throat> Keep your balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Change sides. <coughs> you pull your foot. The support leg is nice and straight. Feel that you're in balance. Tummy in, chest out. Feel the stretch on the thigh, on the hip area here. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well done. Pull it to your chest. Same thing. Good balance. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Very good. Excuse me. Next, let's take that those same muscle groups. So the hip flexors are going to be very important for our kicks and the hips, as I explained earlier, <coughs> to release either tension in your body if you're not doing martial arts per se or any specific sport. These are applicable to anybody. But now that we're going to go into some specific uh, martial art techniques, the Thai boxing techniques, um, they're quite, quite specific. We've got one more range of motion. We did the front. We're going to go to the side now. So we're going to do it holding with the leg out to the side. So you're going to bend your leg. You're going to pull from the inside of your thigh <coughs> over the shin and then hold. The other leg is straight. Body straight. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Open the hip. Nine and ten. Okay, good. This is going to be difficult at first for some of you, so just take it step by step. If you lose your balance, it's no big deal. Just redo it, redo it, practice and practice. So next one, support leg nice and straight. Other leg bent, pull the knee towards you. Ankle is bent as well. Torso straight, tummy in. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we're gonna take that now a bit more dynamic. We're gonna do one count for both angles. So we had the front angle and we had the side angle. Just keep your arms to your side for now. Later I'll explain the, the guard and the stance. Okay, so let's take it forward. Ready, one, and to the side. Two, outside your arms is fine, same thing. One, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, whoa, six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good, switch legs. <coughs> We're gonna go left leg now, front, boom, open like we did, 90 degrees, pretty much, if you can, to the side. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good. Loosen up. Let's just go side to side. One, catch your breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go circles. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're going to do one more floor stretch and then we'll get right to it. So let's go back to the floor. <coughs> There's a few stretches we didn't cover yet. Just excuse me, get a bit of water if you need. <coughs> Hydration is important. Also, as you're indoors, make sure you have good ventilation in, your, in the room you're using. <coughs> if you can open the windows, do so. It's perfect time of the year, get some fresh air. If you have a fan, that's also good. And just make sure the temperature is not too hot, not too cold, just have it your body's gonna heat up automatically, so try to gauge that when you're training um, at your own home, different than a gym or outdoors. Okay, let's go to the floor. We're gonna go to some more stretching. <coughs> Next one, I'd like you to pull both feet close to you. <coughs> pull the feet as close as you can to you, body's nice and straight. For now, just try to move the knees up and down. There's not really any tension here, it's not really a stretch now, just moving the legs up and down. One, two, three, four and five. Good, now keeping that position, I'd like you to push down in the inner thigh with your elbows. If your feet are closer, you can hold your feet, push your elbows, push your legs down with your elbows, or if you're flexible, more flexible, you push down with the hands. So I'll show you this way, the more common way. You're gonna push with the elbows, try to get the legs close to the floor. This is a stretch for the inner thigh groin area. Ready, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Shake it off, one, two, three, four, and five. Next one, keeping that position, we're gonna go forward. So keeping your body straight, keep the feet in position, chest out like we did before, and good breathing, hold, get to the stretch point without bouncing, not really bouncing, just get to the stretch point and just hold. Once you're at a, a point where you feel a bit of pain, be aware of your breathing and try to release while you exhale. So exhaling out, you should feel the difference in the stretch. Hold, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good, bring it back, shake it off. We're gonna do one more with the legs open. So this is gonna be tricky for some of you. I'll show you three progressions. First one is you're gonna just open like so. <coughs> Make sure your feet are um, vertical, toes up, ideally. <coughs> so again, this is tricky for some of you. Even if you're starting here, you can still get a stretch, but common mistakes or common uh, difficulties is people will have the feet turned in or they're too rounded that they're so tight in the hips and the back that they can't even sit straight. So if that happens, you just narrow up, but try to stay straight for now, okay? Otherwise, take it to the, to the width you're able to. <coughs> and now all we're gonna do is you're gonna have your hands in front of you, keep your body straight. You're gonna walk out forward, one hand moving in front of the other. So nice and slow, one, two, and just relax, breathe, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That takes me around there. And then if you can, it's already a big stretch for me. I'm gonna take it down a bit more and you're gonna hold in this position. One, two, three, four. Deep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good. Come up slow. 
and return back to where you started. <coughs> that was the front. We're going to go side to side now. So there's different variations. Let's have one that you're just going to have a support. So you could have it on the, on the front of your leg, on the leg, or behind your leg, as you wish. And body straight. Let's lean the chest to the right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Switch. Other side. Body straight. Take it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. I'll just show you one advanced version quick, <coughs> and then we'll get standing. So let's have our hands here behind our head. You're going to take it down, and if you can rest your elbow on the floor or on your thigh, that's already quite a big stretch. Touching your head, bring it down and hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, and five. And forward, if you can, if you want to set up with the elbows, that's also another position for the first exercise, the first stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, good. And come up. Again, this is very short duration. You'd want to be doing this um, at least 30 seconds each side and or repeating it. Okay, bring your legs back. Good. Shake it off. All right, let's start. <coughs> now we're going to start more the technical aspect of the training. So, Thai boxing is um, divided in many aspects of training. You have uh, defensive techniques, then you have the offensive techniques, which are generally divided into two, the kicks and the punches as well. So we're going to start with the stance first. Depends how you stand. Um, and then we'll take it to the actual techniques. So for to make it simple, and if you have a reference point, imagine you have a square on the floor. Okay, The back leg is going to stay put. The front leg is going to go to the diagonal corner of that square. That's more or less shoulder width. So if I'm shoulder width here, I take it forward. If I would be fo facing 45 degrees, I'd be shoulder width. But I turn my body forward. From here, my hands come up to my cheek, between shoulder and temple area, my hands are closed. Just close a fist and your thumb comes over like this to lock. Not too much tension, just holding the position. And the other point too, there's many variations, but we're going to keep it today a bit more emphasis on the front foot. The way it's going to go forward, I'm going to raise the heel. And I'm like this. So I'm leaning a bit forward, the weight's on the front leg, the back leg is raised, my hands are in front. Okay. We're going to start with a defensive tactic, which is going to again warm up the hips because we're going to have kicks after and also you're, you're working on the guard. Okay, So <coughs> if I'm right handed, if your dominant side is right, generally you'll have it on the back. So I'm right handed, this will be my standard stance. But we do work both sides, right leg forward or left leg forward. Okay, So from here, you have your hands up. I'll show you from the front view first. All you're going to do is you're going to bring the leg up like we did in the exercise earlier. You're going to bring it to the inside of your elbow. This is a block against a kick or someone's whacking you with a stick or something like so. You're going to bring it up. You're going to hold like this and come down. Okay, Up. The elbow is over the knee. The other hand's up. And then I come down. So the balance drills that we did relate to what we're doing right now. Okay, Let's go 10 of these. Ready? My leg. I'll show you front view for five and then side view for five. Ready? Up and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four down, five, and down. Good. From the side view, you take your stance, shoulder width, shoulder width length as well. Hands are up, chin down, good posture, relax, no tension in the shoulders. Ready? Take the leg up. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, good. Take it forward. Um, generally, like I say, you'd be doing this on both sides. Today, we'll just stick to one side. Stick to your dominant side. In my case, my left leg is forward. My strong side is back. Okay, so that was one defensive tactic. We're going to take it now to a, an attack. Um, we'll start with the kick, since the legs are pretty warmed up. We're going to take it to the front kick. So again, from your stance, your hands are here. Here, you don't want to be wobbling your body too much. Try to stay as balanced as possible. You're going to bring your leg up in a straight line, and then by curling the toes towards you, extend your leg, and then come back. Okay, hands stay up. You're going to bring the leg up. One, push, push the hips forward. Two, and come back. Ready, normal speed now. One count, one kick. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Side view, same thing. Get your stance. Relax the shoulders, hands are up. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, come back. Next, we're going to do it with the front leg. So now the trick is, since my weight's on the front leg, I have to bring it back. Just like the block that we did earlier, we did the shin block here. 
but you're going to do you're going to execute a kick. So from this position, you bring the leg up <coughs> with the toes curled. You bring it up, kick, and come back forward. Okay, we go five on the front view, five on the side. Two, three, four, five. Good. I'll show you from this angle. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. So that's one kick. That's the front kick or the push kick, commonly uh, called. Next, we'll take it to a punch. So we did a defensive tactic. We did a kicking attack, and now we'll take it to the punch. Today, we'll focus all just on the straight line attacks, just because uh, the other ones take a bit more time to explain. And like I say, hopefully in a future video, we might be able to, to touch on those. So we did the front leg, uh, the front kicks for both legs. Now we're going to take it to the punches. So from your stance, you take your guard up, chin is down a bit. Let's start with the front hand in this case. You're going to extend your arm in a straight line, in line to your own height. So I'm aiming for the face area, and the other hand doesn't move, and you pull back from the elbow down. Also, you'll have a bit of rotation in the shoulders and come back. Okay, let's just go five and then side view. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. From the side view here, the arms are parallel in front of you. One hand's a bit in front, the other one's closer to your face. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that was the front hand. Now we'll take it to the back hand. Okay? The back hand here, you've got to do a bit of a rotation. It's so far back, but this is your strong side. So you're going to get the twist of the body plus the extension in the arm and then the general muscle strength that you have from that, from that strong side. So same idea. It travels in a straight line. You're going to turn the hand at the end. The body turns as well. And you extend. So you can imagine like throwing a ball. If I'm to throw a ball, I don't just throw my arm. My whole body turns. I wind up. I throw. I twist my body. I extend. And the ball goes. Now it's the same thing. I'm throwing a punch. Hence the name throwing a punch. So from your stance, you're going to twist your body, punch out, Come back, drop the elbow, get back to the guard. Ready? Five, and then five from the side. One, two, three. Little exhale on the attack. Four, five. Good. From the side. Good stance, good guard. Ready? Punch. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Next, I'd like to take it to a combination, and then we're going to see if we can build up with some uh, conditioning exercises. Okay? Um, let's build up what we just did. Um, starting from that defense, okay? So we had that shin block, one. Here, you're going to take it down. Next, you're going to do the punch that you did. Two, the straight punch. Three is the other punch, okay? For now, let's just, and then you come back. Let's start with just those three techniques, and we'll add another technique at the end and a bit faster pace. So let's review. One, bring the leg up. Step forward, punch one, punch two, come back. Again, one, two, boom. One, Two. One, two. Last one. One, two. Okay, side view. Same thing. <coughs> Hands are up. Bring the leg up nice and high. Inside the elbow. One, punch, punch. Come back. Two, punch, punch. Three, punch, punch. Four, punch, punch. Five, and punch. Okay, come back. So from that, you did your defense that we just did. The two punches, we're going to add the kick that we just did earlier, the front kick with the back leg. So it looks like this from the front view. I do the block, shin block. One, bring it back to your stance. Left punch, right punch. As you're pulling the hand back, my leg goes and kicks, and I come back to where I am, where I was. Okay? One more time, slow. Shin block. One, punch. Two, three, other hand. Pull the hand back, kick, and come back. Okay? Normal speed. Let's go five on each angle. Ready? One. <coughs> Two, three, four, five. Okay, from the side, let's look at it here. Same thing, raise the leg first, good balance. One, kick, two, kick, three, four, one more, five. That was a knee. Kick and back. Okay, good. Loosen up. <coughs> Let's take some deep breathing. Ready? Just inhale and hands down. Relax your shoulders. Second one. Two. One more time. Three. Okay, good. We're going to finish off with um, combining this with some exercises, kind of to peak in the workout, and then we'll do a little stretch, and that will be it for today. Okay? 
So from here, let's combine some of the exercises we did earlier <coughs> with a conditioning exercise, mainly for the legs. Okay, we didn't cover so much on the upper body, but today's a big focus on the legs. So what I'd like you to do is, if you can, you can go down to a squat this time, as low as you can. Squat, you're gonna bring the knee to your chest. One, squat again. Two, high up, it's not a knee kick, it's a knee raise. So it's just to, again, condition the muscles, get your heart rate up, and you're conditioning your legs as well. So let's go 10, ready, one, up. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Okay, good. So now we're going to finish off with three sets of what we just did. We're just going to do five, okay? Five of each because it's going to take too long. And like I say, if we do it again, we'll have time to go a bit more in depth. So let's go back to our combination. You're going to do the combination first and then combine with those um, squats and knee raises that we just did. So if your left leg is forward, we're going to go here. <coughs> Ready, five times. One, punch, punch, kick. Two, three, four, five. Okay, squat and knee raise. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, repeat. Only five, but you're going to bring it up to ten to fifteen reps. Ready? Five. One, whoop, one, two, three. Four, five. Okay, squat and knee raise. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, one more set. We call three sets. Let's finish strong. <coughs> Last one. Ready? Block. One. Punch, punch, kick. Two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Take it to your squat. Ready, hands are up in this time. Same as before. One, knee raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Okay, good. All right, loosen up, catch your breath. <coughs> Let's go some deep breathing. Pull the hands in and release. Second one, two, and down. One more time. <coughs> Last one, one, and down. Okay. Good. That's going to be pretty much it for today. We're going to do a few minute cool down stretch, and then that'll be it for the first part of the um, Muay Thai introduction. Okay. Let's go back to our leg stretch that we did earlier. Let's pull our foot behind us, and just catch your breath. Things straight, balanced. Just hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Switch. <coughs> so now the legs work quite a bit. So if you didn't feel the stretch in the first set. Now you should be able to get a bit, bit bigger stretch, a bit more sensation on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's take it wide. You're going to be feet parallel like this. Going to inhale up and front bend and breathe out. And hold. Again, inhale and exhale down. Relax your shoulders, your neck. Release your lower back. Third one. Inhale. Lean back a bit. Exhale down. One more. Uh, two more, sorry. Inhale. And breathe out. Last one. And down. Okay, good. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Um, hopefully, you benefited from today's workout. <coughs> So that was a basic introduction to uh, some Muay Thai techniques. There's many, many more, plus the com combinations are quite infinite, depending on your own abilities and uh, your creativity. 
Um, so do your best, continue to stay safe. While you're training, make sure you hydrate and good ventilation in the room. Everything should be fine. It was a pleasure teaching you today and have a good day. Thank you very much.